Our gardens can bring us peace, tranquility, nutrition, and life lessons. And what could be better than sharing that magic with our kids? Some of my fondest memories growing up were in the garden with my dad, you know, going out there and picking your own watermelon. How fun is that? Robert Campana, CEO of Leafed Box, a plant subscription service, gives us three tips on how we can keep our kids engaged in science and nature through gardening. First up, books and apps. One of the books that I really love is Oh Steak, Can You Steak from Dr. Seuss. And what it does is it talks about everything that relates to plants, from how they work, to how they grow, to what the benefits are, even things like in the soil. Robert Robert also recommends Secrets of the Vegetable Garden, a book with a fun twist. It's more of a fun book that helps kids see what's going on behind the scenes. This is uh, a book where you put a flashlight behind the page that you're reading and you see what's behind what you're seeing on the front page. Super fun. It's a cool way to show what is under the soil. And apps like Grow Garden and Dr. Panda's Veggie Garden help kids see the seed to table process in fun interactive games. Next up, growth charts. In order to get them to really see and get excited about the investment that they're doing, it's great to use a growth chart because then they can actually see, hey, the payoff is coming. Growth charts allow us to track how fast our plant is growing and we get to see what it looks like in different stages. We measure the growth that we see each week, so it makes it a really fun experience. But if you actually take the time to map it out incrementally, you'll see, wow, my plant doubled in size in a week. Uh, and it also helps them realize the differences, that there's different types of plants. Look at our corn. I think we're going to be able to harvest it in the beginning of fall and they can enjoy the fruits of their labor when they harvest and cook. Harvesting and cooking is really at least my favorite part because that's when the payoff happens. You know, it's great for kids to invest in growing their own garden, but nobody, at least at that age, they don't really want to grow a plant because it looks pretty. They want the return. And there are so many kid-friendly recipes to choose from. Squash, one of the fastest growing plants out there, produces a ton and you can make your own homemade zucchini bread or zucchini muffins, you know? With tomatoes, they're also great. Make your own homemade tomato sauce or pesto for pasta and pizza night. And it's great because it's delicious. You've grown it yourself. Learning life lessons. <laughs> it's great. In the garden.